This is the Zach Asbury Show. Welcome. Today's podcast clip comes from an interview with Simona Bronzi from RAA. Okay, so your team is primarily you and your marketing manager, but you work in a mm-hmm. larger team that's about 20 people. Um, so what is your, so you must work quite closely by the sounds of it with new product development. And yep. is there like a research consumer insights sort of section of REA? And yeah. Is there like a media scheduling component or are you part of media and advertising? Like how do, how do all the pockets fit together? Um, so our media scheduling happens through our agency. Um, yeah. So basically sort of we go through the marketing planning process. I, I guess even before that, like when we're looking at these new products, um, we've got an innovation team who kind of look at, okay, what ideas do we have? Um, and they kind of come up with all these scenarios and then it goes sort of to a board who um, assess projects and, and give them approval for funding and things like that. Um, and then it goes to market development team um, who sort of work on actually making it a product so that we can launch. And then after all of that happens, then they come to us and go, well, we need to sell this product, so help us sell it. Um, and that's where uh, my team comes in and we, we start the marketing process and, and, and sort of map out a year plan as, as kind of a starting point, but we know it never will stay what we've planned because of the nature of the products that we work on. It's like every week per review, okay, what are we doing, what's working, what's not, what do we need to change? But it's good just to kind of have a baseline strategy of, okay, what have we done in the past with similar types of products? Um, so I guess that's kind of the starting point. And then there are um, so many teams that we work with. So we've got the digital team who help us get the website and all that content sorted. Um, we have our in-house design team who can do some um, design work for us. Uh, we have a direct marketing team who do all of our email marketing and um, mail campaigns. We've got... Um, our SA Motor team, who are really valuable internal resource for us. We've got the whole magazine and they've got a huge um, readership following that we can go out to. Um, and then we've got our marketing agency who handle all of our media, so like Google AdWords and social media um, and all of our out-of-home. And um, the smaller products don't really get TVC airtime, <laughs> mm. but they sort of do all that. And for the bigger products, they work on our TVCs and um, all the like sponsorships and yeah it's just it's massive um, and it's it's really good to have an agency because you know they're kind of the experts in certain things and I guess that is um, kind of a challenge of of working for such a big organization and having so much um, like varied work and products that you work on is you kind of have to know a bit about everything but you can't really be an expert in any one thing because you've got to rely on experts to do what they're best at um and then we also have a market research team who we tap into as well um so yeah it's it's huge it's amazing how everyone kind of works together yeah it sounds like it's um fairly well oiled which is good so you're okay so you're almost like a you're you're basically a link in the chain between yeah. <laughs> um, all of the stuff that's happening, all the exciting things that are happening internally, and they come to you for obvious reasons. And then you then need to brief like the agency about, you know, mm-hmm. this is where we're at. And their role is, uh, is a full service agency in terms of they do the ad creative and then the media scheduling as well. Yeah. 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 So they can do everything for us, which is really good. And do they handle like your... Um, I don't know what, what you'd call like an owned media. Do they handle all your social pages and everything like that? Um, so we do have an in-house social team who kind of oversee it, um, but they have access to our um, social media pages to do um, sponsored content. So usually I'll, I'll just whip up an ad and, and um, kind of go, here, can we upload it? Um, that's pretty easy. Um, but, yeah, the, the in-house social media team sort of manage the more organic um, stuff that we have up and also managing all the messages and, and comments that come in as well. Yeah. So if I went on, say, Twitter and I said, hey, at RAA, you know, great job, you know, uh, fixing my 
battery that was dead or yeah. um, great recommendation on the plumber that I'm going to need soon or, yeah. you know, thanks thanks for <laughs> hooking me up with FlexiCar. Who does that go to? Is Does that go to you or one of your team or...? Um, no, well, it, well, sometimes it comes to me, but there is, um, we've got like a member support team who um, have a platform that all of the comments and messages feed into and then they um, sort of can either reply if it's something they can answer really quickly or they'll refer it to someone who can help. So some, if it's one of the products that I work on, it will get sent through to me and I'll help with an answer. Yeah, that sounds really good. So if you, how do you know, like say you have two campaigns or say you have just one campaign and it does involve TVC and oh, what's, the, what's the campaign I've seen of yours recently? The one that sticks in my head is you're kind of like at Elder Park and they have Adelaide Oval in the background and it's like the biggest guy you've seen with a bald head and they call him Tiny or something like that. Oh, that's, I think that's one of the insurance ones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> and he's flipping a Barbie or whatever and then he starts dancing. It's, it's quite a yeah. creative ad. How do you, and then you, do you, how do you determine what effect that is have, having? Like how do you attribute, like what are you trying to do with it? Are you trying to build mental structures or are you trying to, um, how do you determine how effective that's actually been? Well, I guess I haven't really worked on many TVC campaigns, so mine, I, I'm probably not as close to it as, say, the insurance team that have a lot of um, stuff out in the market. But from what I've been sort of involved in, they give us sort of post-campaign reports to let us know how things are performing. Um, but I guess sort of in any advertising that we do as RA, there's, there's an element that's brand building, there's an element that's awareness, and there's an element that's wanting to convert sales. So I guess TV sort of falls into that brand building because people see it as an RA ad but then if it's like specific products then it also helps contribute to the awareness and conversion as well so mm. um I don't know if that answers your question yeah somewhat um yeah definitely I think so for sure so hey guys it's Zach Ainsbury here with just a couple of quick reminders if you've enjoyed today's podcast then make sure you subscribe so you never miss an episode there are plenty more interviews to come with some of the world's leading marketing academics and practitioners. You do not want to miss these. In the meantime, if you're looking for another way to connect, then follow me on Twitter at Zach Ainsbury. That is Z-A-C-A-N-E-S-B-U-R-Y. For my take on the marketing issues of the day.